Hey guys, it's uh, Todd again. I just wanted to do a quick little recap of uh, color and uh, color theory, and I want to give you a little project to do. Before you do this, pause the video. Make sure you've read chapter nine. Uh, this is going to make a lot more sense if you've actually uh, gone through and uh, read uh, that chapter. So let's talk about uh, color and light. What are the basic primate colors of light? They are red, blue, and green. This is the color chart here that shows that. Okay. Um, if you mix red, blue, and green together, you're going to get what we call white light. So anything here that would cross in the center would be white light. So if you bring those three together, you're going to get white light. Okay. Then we have our secondary colors. They're a mix of, uh, the, of all the primary. So red and green the, the, yeah, make yellow. Green and blue make cyan. And blue and red, of course, make magenta. Now, if you, again, if you want to mix white light, you could mix the secondary colors, the, the magenta, cyan, and yellow, and these will also make white light. You can also make white light by doing a combination of a primary and a secondary. As long as it's across from each other, those two will actually make uh, white light as well. So red and cyan, blue and yellow, and green and magenta will actually all make white light. Um, there's a couple different ways that you can actually, um, we can, there's two ways we can actually mix color. There's additive color mixing, and subtractive color mixing. Additive color mixing means you shine two different sources on it and whatever those colors mix to, the light bounces together and it bounces off and it looks like it's a single it's the same color light. So the the color that um let me just uh switch cameras real quick. Okay. So if we go to our little demo pad here, uh, I've got a little LED light uh hanging right over there in uh just off uh camera. And right now I have red, blue, and green. So this is what our version of white light is. And really, I kind of like if I take some blue out a little bit, I think that makes that's a much closer white light. If you actually look at the white M&Ms here, you're going to see that those are uh, actually white. Now, what we're doing here is I'm showing you sort of what uh, it's sort of a, uh, sorry, there's a tradition in lighting and sound technology. We have what we call M&M Day. And that's where we all sit down. And I put out M&Ms and I shine different color lights on them. You have to separate them. Well, I can't really do that today. Um, but I wanted to show, just show you a demo and show you what it looks like when you do that. Um, so to do additive color mixing, if I wanted to do, to make a cyan, I would just turn the red and blue, sorry, the green and blue on, and then I'm going to actually make uh, a cyan color. That's additive color mixing. Subtractive color mixing is by taking white, white light, putting a filter in front of it, and you can actually color mix that way. So if I just stick this color, this this gel, sorry, going the wrong way there. If I stick this gel in front of the light, it's actually changing the color, but it's doing it by subtracting it. It's subtracting everything but that color of light. Another way you could do subtractive color mixing is to take two gels, stack them on top of each other, and now you can even make yet a third new color of light. That's subtractive color mixing. All right. So just real quick, I just wanted to show you what I wanted to go through what some of these different colors do and how it affects the light. So let's think about it. If we take and um, we we turn all the lights off but the blue, okay, which light should we see? Well, we should be just be seeing the blue M&Ms. Those are the blue M&Ms over here. These are the white ones. These I think were red, but you'll notice if it's if it doesn't have that color of light in it, it's not gonna show that color so they're going to look black or they're going to look brown okay if we go over here they you'll notice they've all started to sort of blend together do you remember which ones which ones they were so if i wanted to try to find a green one i'm not even sure which one is green okay um, because there's no green in here or which ones are red all right some of these have a little purple in them so let's just turn the lights back on so you can see okay we turn them all back on and look there was our green one over here that oh there was another green one that i didn't know about either um, so if we just turn the blue on, the ones that have blue in them are going to show up because you have to have that color in the thing that you're shining it on. So let's just look at green. Okay. So we turn everything off the green. We can still see the green. I think that blue has a little bit of green in it. That's why they're, that's why they're showing up. Again, we have the white M&Ms for reference. Okay. But again, our red ones look brown, look black. Okay. So let's keep going. Let's just turn on the red light. Okay. So now, what happened to our blue ones? Our blue ones turned black. Again, they're starting to blend together here, and we can start to see which ones are the reds. Um, it's a little harder to see the pinks. Okay. Um, 
So let's try some mixed colors. We should be able to see them better if we have more than one wavelength of light out there. So right now we just have the red ones on. Let's turn on the green. And red and green make cyan. So we can actually see most of them because, like I said, there is a little bit of green in that blue for sure. If we had something that was really pure blue, it would be it would be actually much, much harder to see. So that's if we use red and green. Now let's do, again, that was just green. Let's go to cyan. Okay, what happened to our red ones again? Our red ones went black because we can't see them anymore. And then our finer color, finer, final color would be purple. Okay, so purple, uh, most of them show up except for the greens. Where did the green ones go? The greens were, I don't remember where the greens were over here. Which ones? Okay, those are the greens. Wow, look how they just turned purple. I know there's some green ones over there that uh, just kind of went away. All right. So that's what I wanted to show you. Now, just for fun, just because I have it in this light, I want to show you what the UV looks like. In the UV, everything turns black. And then we can have a dance party. Okay. Um, I was, uh, uh, this is my, my second take of this video. I did turn the strobe on before. I'm not going to turn the strobe on again to go with the dance party this time. Um, but like I said, UV just sort of makes, this is black light, just sort of makes everything go black. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to do this experiment. I want you to see if you can sort the M&Ms using different colored light. The first thing that you're going to say to me is, Todd, I don't have a fun little LED light like you do. Okay, but you do. You have something that can make fun different light colors, and that is your phone. You need to find a flashlight app okay, that does different colors. So I just have to randomly choose this one here. Okay, and if I click, let me turn it off. If I click color, it will just show me a color screen. Whoops. Let me go back here for a second. Let me turn the light down. Come back here. Now, if I look at the color, now I can actually shine and make that blue light. So here's the app itself. Let the, give that a second to focus in a little bit. Okay, that is actually blue. Okay, let's go to green. So we switch to green. And again, it, it does just enough to change the M&M colors like we saw before. All right, so now if I go, let me go to a purple, because remember a purple showed up. A lot more of them so we can see kind of the blue ones we can see so you can actually do this with the uh, with a, a simple phone app like that now here's what I want you to do I want you to get a family member this is fun to do with siblings this is fun to do with parents shine the different colors on and then when you turn the colors off have them try to separate them and then turn then turn the regular lights on and see how close they got and see if they can figure it out Okay, I'll write that all up and put, put some instructions in the book. And what I want you to do is I want you to document what you did. Just take pictures of you guys doing this, okay? Um, and then I want you just to, to let me know uh, some basic things that you found. Just, just write me up a little paragraph of some basic things that you found. Okay, that's all that I have for tonight. And uh, actually, uh, I'm recording this. I'm going to see all of you tomorrow in class. Bye.